stop grabbing yourself, you pervert. I and think I you think that I like it, but not really. Because you look hmm. like a perverted old man. You like start like getting these eyes, like you're <laughs> undressing me with your eyes. And then you start grabbing yourself right in front of me like I don't even see it. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. All right, let's start this. Yeah, it's been going. Trav! You can use that for your blooper reel. Mm -hmm. My husband. That's... My husband is perverted. Love you. You love me. I still love you, yes. Even though you're a little pervert. Hey you guys, it's Shannon Rose, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a story time. I'm so excited. I love doing story times. I don't know why. I think, like, I just have so many good stories that I like to tell you guys. Catch me outside. How about that? Catch you outside? What does that mean? So this story is how I got caught smoking. And believe it or not, I actually tried my first cigarette, I think, in the seventh grade. It wasn't, like, an everyday thing. I just, like, did it once in a while. Um, it wasn't until the ninth grade that I actually um, took up smoking, but let me tell you how I ended up getting caught. It all started when I went to my friend's house and her mom smoked. And so her mom had like cartons, like a carton of cigarettes. If you guys don't know what a carton is, it's basically like this big box of like a bunch of packs of cigarettes in that you could just like buy the whole case, I guess. She like had them and she kind of just like left them out. <laughs> And so her daughter decided that she was going to steal a pack of cigarettes for us to smoke. Her mom was home, right? And she was like in the kitchen doing something. And she had like a pack of cigarettes, I think, in her purse. And I don't know why we didn't think to like go to, to the carton where there was like a bunch of cig cigarettes. But for some reason, like we were being sneaky. And so, and when I say we're, I just want to make it very clear. It wasn't me that stole her mom's cigarettes. It was her that stole her mom's cigarettes so she had left her purse like by the door and the mom was in the kitchen so we're like literally like creeping like little creepers and over by the door and I'm just like watching her like <laughs> being on this escapade because if there's any shenanigans going on you know I'm about to be involved in that shit <laughs> I just loved getting in trouble it was like something that was fun for me to do so I follow her and I'm like being all sneaky and I'm like oh this is so exciting we can get caught at any moment um I don't know it's just like a rush and thrill of like being bad so uh, so she goes over and she like reaches her hand in the purse and as soon as she reaches her hand in the purse her mom yells her name and she like answers it and she's like yeah <laughs> and I'm like oh my god and at first we thought like we were getting caught but the mom was just like um, dinner's ready <laughs> so she grabs the cigarettes out and she puts them in her underwear I'm not joking you guys these this pack of cigarettes goes in her underwear and the kitchen is like around the corner. So she's like, okay, come on. And I'm like, what? I'm like, no, like, go, let's go to your room and take the cigarettes out and put them in out of your underwear, <laughs> put them, hide them in your room. I don't want to sit down at dinner with this pack of cigarettes in your underwear that I'm going to get ready to smoke like in a few hours. You know what I mean? And she's like, no, come on. So I'm like, okay. So, so she has this pack of cigarettes in her freaking underwear the whole time during dinner and we're eating and I'm just dying and we're like looking at each other laughing because we think it's hilarious. So everything's fine. We don't get caught. She still has the cigarettes. So we sneak them up into her room and she hides them. Right. But we like, we don't want to smoke the cigarettes outside because we're afraid we're, like we're going to get caught, like all these different things. So we decide that we're gonna wait till like one o'clock in the morning when her parents are asleep and we're gonna go up in her attic and smoke these cigarettes. So we just like stay up and we pretend like we're sleeping and the mom's like, yeah, good night, whatever. And then in the middle of the night, we end up sneaking out and going up into her attic and we pull out the cigarettes that had been in her freaking underwear. I feel like we were just like more pretending like we were cool because we were smoking, but we actually really were like smoking and we didn't smoke like one or two cigarettes. We smoked like three or four cigarettes like over the span of like two hours because we were up there for a long time just like talking about like life and stuff. And I don't know how the fuck we didn't set off a smoke alarm. I don't know. <laughs> there was no like ventilated areas. I don't know if she had done this before. But like we smoked up there for a really long time and like the parents never found out. After we got down from the attic, she's like, do you want a pack of cigarettes? And I'm like, yeah. So she goes to the carton of cigarettes that her mom had like in the freezer or whatever. And she pulls out a whole pack of cigarettes and just like gives it to me. So I'm like, thanks girl. <laughs> like you hooked me up. Oh my God, this is the same girl by the way that made out with her dog. And she was like the reason why I got expelled from my school that I was in because I ended up getting in a physical fight with her. I don't know if I talked to you guys about that or not, but that's the same girl. 
So anyway, make a long story short, I ended up having the cigarettes and in school I had like glasses to like see the board because like I have trouble seeing far and so I stored cigarettes, my cigarettes in my eyeglass case because I just figured like that's a good place that like no one will find them. Well, one day uh, my mom had been nosy AF and had decided to go through my bag and she opened up my, my eyeglass case. She's found my awesome hiding spot and found the cigarettes and was so mad because let me tell you why. My grandmother died of lung cancer and so that was like emotional for her. You know, she was like really upset about it and I understood and like I was just being an idiot. Like, you know, a, a young kid idiot like doing stupid shit but I was addicted to smoking by this point like when she found them and so she was like, Shannon! And I was like, oh god, I'm in trouble! <laughs> I know like when she yelled by name like that, I used to get in trouble so much you guys, but like, so I knew like when she yelled at me like that, I was, I was in some deep shit, okay? And so she comes and I, and I go upstairs and she's in the bathroom and she has my eyeglass case and it's open with the cigarettes. She's like, what's this? <laughs> and I'm like, mom, why are you going through my stuff? You know, like I'm getting all mad because she's like going through my personal stuff. She's like, are you smoking? And I'm like, no, they're for a friend. I'm just hanging on to them. You know, like we come up with like all these dumb excuses. Our parents are not stupid. Like they know what's up, you know what I mean? So she did not buy the, I'm holding them for a friend excuse. And she ends up like breaking all the cigarettes like that I had in my eyeglass case and flushing them down the toilet. And I was like so pissed because I was a minor and it was not easy for me to buy cigarettes. <laughs> so I was like, not happy about it and then she decides that she's gonna go to the store and she's like get in the car and I'm like oh my god is she taking me to jail like what is <laughs> she's gonna drop me off there like what is happening now I never knew with my mom she like did some crazy stuff so she goes to the Rite Aid like around the corner from where we were living and she comes out and lo and behold my mom bought me a pack of cigarettes and I was like oh okay like this is cool, like you're becoming a cool mom now, like are you gonna buy me my cigarettes because you know I smoke? Uh, and I thought that she was just like, <laughs> I didn't know what was going on, but like at first I thought like, oh she's just being really cool, like because she broke my cigarettes and maybe she felt bad so she was gonna buy me another pack. Like no bitch, that was not the case. She bought me a pack of cigarettes, sat me down outside, and literally made me smoke every single cigarette like in a row the whole pack like made me smoke the whole pack because she thought I would get sick and never want to smoke another cigarette like ever again well it just really made me like more addicted to smoking I think um which that didn't work out very well mom sorry to say <laughs> um but I didn't I don't even think I ended up smoking the whole pack I think like I was just like okay I'm done like I'm not gonna smoke anymore mom and she was just like okay, you better not be smoking again, like, I don't know, it was just, <laughs> that's basically how I got caught smoking, and, like, what happened afterwards, but then after that, my mom kind of realized, like, that smoking was the least of her problems that I was doing, and that there were way more bigger things she should be concerned about than me smoking a pack of cigarettes or whatever, <laughs> or, like, smoking cigarettes. I was just a really bad, bad, bad child. And I, I think it's so funny because the Catch Me Outside girl is like totally a reincarnated little baby Shannon, like <laughs> with red hair. Did did you say the 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 hoes are laughing? Yeah, a little bit more ghetto than I was. Catch me outside, how about that? But yeah, I, I just like, I see her and I'm like, oh my God, like how embarrassing that like used to be me. I literally used to be the catch me outside girl. Thank God we didn't have like social media because oh my God, if that was on social media now, girl. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this story time. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What kind of video do you want to see next on my channel? Uh, thank you again so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Hey you guys, it's Shannon Rose, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a boob job Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me whatever you wanted about my boob job, and your Twitter questions are here. Do you ever regret getting your boobs done at all? Absolutely. Especially the first time I got them done. So for those of you guys that don't know, this is my second boob job. I just wanted bigger boobs because I did not like what I had. But you always want what you can't have, right? It is going to stretch that skin out a little bit. So I feel like it might alter the appearance of your nipple. 